All right, no amount of mental preparation can uh, really ever prepare me to do an intro, so let's just dive right into it. Whew, I got a got an idea. Oh god. Um right, we should probably uh make this menu not appear by the way. We're working on the plugin and uh having additional features with the right click. Should probably not make this menu appear when you just right click and you got to like hold shift or something. Uh but that's besides the point. Got an idea for a new um, addition for location, which is um, kind of like a safe room um, where the players can find themselves being safe. Um, so, so let me just do this quick, quick uh, adjustment. Let's see. We have the uh, the tool context menu. Right. Uh, okay, so here we go. Right click. We need to do if. Uh, we need to know if shift is pressed. Right. Okay, how can we... Hmm. We're going to have to have a local variable called shift. I think. Actually, I think we should be able to do this if input is and then key pressed. And then this is E shift. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. So get rid of this. Uh, this will only be here temporarily. Okay. Use. There we go. So now only if shift is pressed. Nice. Also, I think we need to uh, make the position. Let's do negative eight, negative eight. Like this. Oh, no. Opposite direction. Positive. There we go. So that should be okay. And cool. Right. Uh, so the location that I have an idea for is a safe location. Uh, and uh, it's going to be tied into the lore of the game as a solution to where staff could take uh, shelter and protect themselves uh, from the strangely increasing in uh, appearance rate entities. So what do we need to do for this? What do we need to do right now? Uh, the safe room. Let's start, I guess, get the ball rolling. So safe room one. I'm going to start with the floor, which by the way, should probably have um, some non square floors. Everything is square right now, it's a bit too boring. Your bunker kit floor. Well, this is a little weird. Hold on. Floor deform. Ooh. Interesting. How big is this? Oh yeah, okay, that's that's one of the one of Antoine's chunks. Okay, uh where did half my shit go? Floor Yeah, there we go. It says bunker kit. Lore large damaged. Yeah, these are mine. Okay. Cool. Um, we need a something. Uh, we need 
a floor. And on this floor, we also need a... Oh, that's an OBJ file, by the way. There we go. Wait. There is no floor large damaged. The scenes aren't here. Okay, gotta fix this. Okay, so we have floor hole one, floor small one. So we're gonna go to the tool. Uh, we need this to be static and collision. The output location is going to be OBJ. Guten Tag. Good day. Okay, objects, uh, bunker kit, select current folder, and then we'll do boop, eight converted. Now we should have all eight of them. Beautiful. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, this is supposed to be a safe room. So I guess we just, we can just block something out real quick. Okay, we need the wall window, large, for this one. Do we want a large one? Maybe not. Let's just do a window. How are you doing, Steven? How's your uh, adventures going on so far? Sorry in advance. What did you do? What have you done? Or deformed. Let me see if I can uh, do something like this. Grab it and just sink it in. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Dimitar! Well, hello. Uh, I fixed up the right click in the plugin. Uh, you have to shift right click in order for the menu to appear. So. That should deal with the annoyance. Um, and uh, let me just save this. Let me actually push that out right now so you guys have access to that. Objects, locations. Bunker chunk, bunker chunk, not bunker chunk. Yes, bunker chunk. What the hell is this room? Safe room, yes. All right. <clears throat> I received a the Renergy 3000 watt power inverter today. That's one piece of the puzzle. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna quickly push it. Yeah, one piece of the off-grid power solution puzzle. Next step would be the charge controller, batteries, and just a ass load of solar panels. That's gonna be good. Uh, cool. So. Plugin fix for right click context menu. I have stuff that needs to be fetched. Oh boy. Full origin. Continue merged. One conflict. Why is there a conflict in the plugin? We're using the local version. Oh, come on. Get, get, oh, 
Save. To hell with that. Putting together a tool for converting objects and make mats. Yeah. There you go. It's surprisingly simple. Did you end up uh, figuring it out on your own, or were you following along the uh, the my discoveries in the stream? Bunker kit vault of form. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna place this right here. That's gonna act as an opening between between two. Go and get and check the push. Okay. Continue to merge. I wrong. Good day. All right. Okay, that's the same same one. Yes. You know what? I need to make a shorter version of this deform wall. Let's see. Yes. So same as this one, except not as wide. Smaller opening. Somewhere around this big. Follow what you could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure figuring it out by yourself is a lot simpler. Polly. Yes. No, can't fill it in. It's not an object. Convert to mesh. Then we fill it in. Okay. Normals flip. Okay, so this is the form six. I think I'm at one one more. Hmm. Let's do that. Oh. Nice. Okay, this is going to be damn it. Copy. 7. Six and seven. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh, this is three. Okay, we need to add two pieces. Shrink fatten, so Alt S. Gotta remember that. Randomize. 
Uh, Antoine or Dimitar, have one of you started working on a door? Because I feel like I I was going to see about making something here. The door for the safe room. Okay, so six and seven. So like these, and then OBJ, military machete. Okay, so you're on that, sounds good. I'm gonna, in that case, work on the, the protective door for this. Okay, bunker kit, OBJ, no preset. There we go, and now, Go here. So this would be wall, wall deform. Six and seven. Boop. Nice. Now we got a scene for it. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Wall deform of six. Wall deform of seven. Was it exported by parent? Objects by parent. Selected. I think it's just objects. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck? They're both the same. Is that the name of it? Bunker Kit Wall Deform 06. Give the rusty one from the placeholder. Once we get to the uh, to the location that needs it, I think that's when we'll uh, we'll grab it. Deform six, deform seven. That looks weird. Maybe it's because I haven't triangulated it. No, good out three. Go away. We don't need you right now. Okay, so triangulate. Triangulate. This one and this one. Two files exported. Come on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just had to triangulate it. Now that's OBJ. Thankfully, the scenes get automatically updated. Nice. I'm going to need to write some music for these safe rooms. Okay. Cool. All right. So what we need to do here is make a a bunch of props that are supposed to be like electrical protective, almost like a magnetic shield um, that wraps around the room. So a whole bunch of wires, a whole bunch of, I don't know, arc things insulators, ceramic insulators, transformers, that sort of stuff. 
Uh, let's see. I think I can actually just design it here. It is part of the bunker kit. Simply set the location, don't want to do that. Did you push? I believe so. Oh, actually, no. The, uh, GitHub is stuck doing stupid stuff. Did one of you by any chance like edit the plugin? Because I had to discard whatever changes there were. Don't make it a habit to change code, please and thank you. Because I could have been working on stuff. And uh, whatever whatever changes you're you're in would have to be discarded, or my changes have to be discarded. So I just went ahead and discarded whatever you had there. Okay, uh, GitHub is taking a shit right now, so let's, maybe I should just use Git. Okay, continue to merge and push origin. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Hello. Hello indeed. How's it going? Okay. So, um, what are we doing here? This is going to be a double door, single door, sliding up and down. Hmm. Huh. We could probably do like a door with little clips that snap left and right. Let's see. There we go. OK, 
Okay, we're going to do... Increment. Incremental. Oh, God. The uh, Blender's new, uh, new snapping tools. Okay. Can we snap this to the center of the grid? Please and thank you. No. It's just going to start whatever the hell it wants. Okay. There we go. Actually, no, we're going to do the opposite. These two are going to have an elongated piece. Mm hmm. Okay. And then this piece, we're going to see about placing some sort of a notch. Vertices. Let's do 16 or 8. Yeah, 16. Okay. So the idea here is that we have a um, two pegs, and they are there's a wheel that locks them into place. Okay, we're gonna see about putting putting something like that together. Let's see here. I need a centerpiece, a center point. Let's mirror this. And convert to mesh. And then we're gonna use this as a as a center point. So center of mass and then cursor to select it. Beautiful. So let's start by creating a cube. And then we're going to have to position it right here. Although I think we can just position the whole cube. Uh, let's assign a line to vertices. Mm hmm. Okay, and then this right here is how it slides in. There we go. Apply scale, and then we're going to select this, this, and then all of these pieces. Oh. There we go. Okay, so that is a notch. Hmm. 
know what? Kind of thinking maybe we'll just go through this way. Get rid of this. Entirely. Oh, okay, maybe not entirely. Maybe when we make that knife cut, we tell it to go through the geometry. C. Si. Si, senor. There we go. So, fill this in. And then... We're going to go ahead and spin us a nice piece, nice extension here. Like this. Maybe even like this. As a matter of fact, just to have visual feedback, I'm going to mirror it. And we're going to set the cursor at the 3D cursor. There we go. Okay, mirroring is not going to help because it's just going to just going to repeat it. We need to actually rotate it. So we're going to give it plane axis. Okay. Reduce the size. And then we're going to tell this guy to have an array modifier, but use object offset. The object in question is going to be this empty. And then we're going to make sure that the center is at the center of this object. And there we go. Now, the fact that it doesn't quite match means that the scaling, there we go, and rotation is off. Perfect. So now I can do this. All right, that's looking good. We're going to keep it there. Then I'm going to grab these edges, fuse them, and then we're going to continue this like that. Except, you know, less divisions. Something like that. All right. Use this. Grab these. Mm hmm. So the idea here is that this is going to spin. All right, we can convert to mesh at this point. This is going to spin and lock it in place. And then when the door opens, it does this. And then the two halves slide open.
Okay, now should this be larger or smaller? Okay, that should be good. And then we're going to do spin duplicate. Do not merge. Use duplicates. Okay. We'll just do 360. Oh, wrong place. 360. And uh, we do have a duplicate in this case. So we're going to clean up, merge by distance, and that will merge all the duplicates here. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so looking good. This will spin open. Okay. I think we should turn this set of faces into a sort of like a gearbox. So we can do Extrude individual faces. Switch to individual origins. And then local axis. Okay, but that's not really individual origins. Okay, that's weird. Normals. That's what we need. Beautiful. Except not so much. Gears don't work that way. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Duplicate this. Separate collision shape. Let's just make this as a separate piece. scale on the y-axis. That is weird. I guess those normals have screwed something up. 
Hmm. Okay, we'll just do this then. Cool. And then we're going to use an array modifier uh, or, or we could just spin, spin duplicate. In global axis, preferably. Okay, we'll just eyeball it. Sure. Hmm. Well, it doesn't quite mesh right, but I'm sure we can adjust it. Actually, hold on a second. When we do this, let me grab just one unit under. Because then we'll be able to merge it easier. Like this. Yes. And then we can do mesh, merge by distance. There we go. Like this. Perfect. Okay, and then this joins here. Perfect. Let's try this. Let's rotate this around the 3D cursor, preferably on the global axis. it here and then we'll try the spin we're gonna make it reach all the way to the edge there we go merge by distance perfect did some amazing work all right sounds good Gonna be interesting to see. Okay. That looks fascinating. Not what I wanted to do, but there we go. Okay. And then we're gonna place what is it? Place the motor, maybe right in the middle. I kind of want to see a reaction. <laughs> well, a little busy right now. Got to get some work done. Okay. Gears do always look so cool. So we have one tooth here. And then when we rotate, and this is in the opening, we still have the tooth right there. So that seems perfect. I should be able to place this. Whoops. Rotate Z90. There we go.
That's what I want. Almost see it feels like a something something door. Comment has been cut off courtesy of YouTube heart button. So that's lovely. But in a nutshell, it's supposed to be a like a heavy duty protective door to a safe room. Except right now I'm leaning quite a lot into mechanical where there's supposed to be a heavy lean on the electrical. Okay. This is when it's locked. This is when it's open. I think we'll embrace asymmetry here. That's fine. Not fully understanding. So these two are separate halves, right? And these two, these two pegs technically are supposed to be separate pieces. This belongs to this door. And whoops. Okay. The loose parts. This belongs to this door. This one belongs to this door. So we have the door rotates into the openings, and then this door goes to the left, and then this one goes to the right, like this. Yes, sliding door. So for that, I think we need to go even further into asymmetry. Sounds like this is going to be a storm today. Mm. Let's do this. And there we go. So now there should be a clear passage. Yeah, that seems unobstructed. Yeah, the only thing is that this is a little a little too mechanical. Like, there's got to be a, a slew of electrical components to this. Mmm. Man. This is almost too, too mechanical. Wait, Antoine, didn't you have a, a door, um, an interesting bunker door, like a more secure one? We have an office door. Uh, 
I want to see if we can maybe take a look at that one. Yeah, because remember you made something. You made one that looked a lot like the Fallout door. And then I think you made another one? Was that just the Fallout door? The lock is attached to the frame? Yes. Which means we would have to, uh, you know, figure out a way to have like a much thicker, whoops, much thicker frame and then some sort of a slit or opening here that this thing would uh, would slide into. So this will this would kind of move as one component. I don't want to make it too intricate though. It's not really supposed to be super intricate. So maybe we'll just call this a modeling exercise. Hmm. Okay. What should it be? Let me export this as an STL. Monker safe from heavy doors. This is going to go engine models. I'm just going to need to check the sizing. I think we'll make a safe room category here. Lost the blend file. Ah, right, the hard drive. Death. Whoops. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. Let me just um, export STL. Let me double check here. Safe room. Well, hello. Did we not export something there? In engine, check for heavy bunker security door. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a scene here. There we go. All right, what do we got? Okay. And these are sliding components, up and down, I assume. You know, this might actually be a lot better. <laughs> it's nice and simple. Okay, I think we can actually use this. That'd be way better. No need to overthink it. We'll check up the door that I made to modeling practice. Wall door. Hmm. I 
I don't think these have the same size. Or do they? They don't. Or, uh, uh, no, they don't. Well, actually, we might be able to do that. This wasn't really intentional. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Plus one to one to one. Plus one to one to one. Okay, perfect. So this looks good. Um, cool. We don't want the tall door here, though. On this one. Short door. Yeah, nice. The locker's coming, nice. Perfect. Okay. Dude, this is perfect. That's gonna work out just fine. I gotta embrace more angles, to be honest. Too many boxes. Too boring. Although, when you walk in here, I kinda want this wall to be on the left. So we're gonna do this. Pull and check the plugin. If I'm... Man, can you stop editing my plugins? God damn it. Let me guess. You added the fuck everything button, didn't you? That's what it is. Son of a bitch. What did you do? The plugins. Okay, so you didn't mess around with my plugin. You probably loaded something else. Uh, what? Height map terrain, scatter tool, array modifier, little camera preview. Reload. Reload. Man. Motherfucker. Uh, what did you do? I don't see anything. Made me close and reopen, could I? Uh, focus. Okay, fine. Well, I did, hold on. I did fetch, and then it said that there were shenanigans with the script. And I discarded them, and I used whatever I had, because you know. I don't want I don't want anybody touching my scripts. There's a reason there's only one programmer in the in every project, I'm working on. Don't touch my shit, bro. <laughs> or I'll miss I'll misspell your name in the credits. I'll name you Anthony Dazani. Like the water company. Like the water company. Alright, what did you do here? Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. Really? I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well.
can't read shit now. Man, hold on a second. Oh, fuck's sakes. You and your... Go away. Antoine, you, you tend to spend way too much time on themes and colors and spacing. Way too much. Anything but work. Oh, God. I refuse to enable this behavior. Regardless of how funny it is. There we go. Oh, the goddamn outlines. Everything. Okay. Antoine's idea. Of course. <laughs> Dimitar was like, no, it's not, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> it's not my idea. It's, it's all him. He's the mastermind. Please. Uh, that's fine. Go away. Give me my default get out buttons back. My default theme, thank you. Ah, <sighs> see, this is why I gotta closely check every single on everything on the onto ones pushes, just just in case. You never know what kind of shenanigans you might decide to push. Okay, all right. So we have a door. Let's get animation player. And then we're going to do an open animation. As a matter of fact, reset. Now, I do wonder, is the location track animatable with curves? It is not. So, interesting. All right, fair enough. So this is top. This is going to be the reset animation. 0.1 second. Nice. Okay. Then we have the open animation. Take the down. This time we're actually going to use Bayesian curves. Don't need the reset because we already made one. I should have just done that. There we go. Okay. So. We're going to have it go down to the lowest point without clipping. Okay. And then top is going to go up here. There we go. And I'd see no curves because, right, because it's good at four, shows the curves in a different way. Okay. All right, we don't need this. We don't need X. There we go. Okay, let's make it two seconds. Okay, there should be a way to transfer uh, keyframes. Move them and lock them in a particular axis. By hand, like if I do this, and then just act like control, alt, or shift, or combination of something so that it locks it to the axis like this is the thing i think godot can learn so much from uh from blender in that regard okay There we go. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> Coconut thing from TF2. Random Canadian. Yay. Sounds good. Was it funny? Yeah, it was funny. But I, I tend to not enjoy having my work environment messed with. It reminds me too much of uh, when my cousin decided to do a good deed and rearrange all of my desktop shortcuts and change my background on my computer and like f store everything in folders and organize I couldn't find shit after that day I was pissed as hell okay Yeah, background was funny. There we go. Mm hmm. It's pretty, uh, pretty old and crusty. Struggling with it. There we go. All right. Door frame, tri mesh, static body. So that's fine on the door frame. Um, for the heavy door, I think we're going to have to do a, a nested static body. Yeah. Cool. I think that's fine. I think the top moves up a little bit too fast. Okay, we'll leave that here for now. Oh, oh, well, that's not, that's not very nice. Oh, uh, that's also not something that I have access to, so, <laughs> uh, Antoine, the doors have no side faces, which... Actually, that shouldn't be a problem. There should be plenty of wall to obscure this. The productivity did not increase 200%. <laughs> Couldn't reach it. Oh, man. Gotta undo all this stuff. Yeah, please don't go around spending time on setting themes on developer panels. That's the least productive way to spend time. Now I'm gonna end up destroying it anyways. A 
Okay. Cool. So we got the door. We have it in here. It pokes out a little bit, but we will have a ceiling here. Cool. All right. Now, there's supposed to be some sort of scanning radar type hardware that scans for unholy things in the neighborhood. Why is the door off center? What the shit? <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah. No, that's the top nose. No. Hold on. No, oh, the door's off center because it's literally off center here. God damn it. Um, we only animated it on the Y axis. We don't need X or Z. Okay. Here's the open. Why is the reset? Why does the reset have the doors open? There we go. And then open. There's no X. It's just just Y. Okay. So now Okay, and there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steven, that one point that Antoine got for making this model was swiftly cancelled out by the shenanigans on the plugin. <laughs> it's a zero-sum game. Okay. I'm taking that my back my door and going home. I can't even speak. Ah, <sighs> boy. Okay. <clears throat> now we do have a wall light. Bunker wall light. Uh do we want this one? Or do we want the other one? Generic light, I think it's called. Or it used to be called. <clears throat> On the side, maybe, just maybe, I'm trying to find this light. Emergency light. Bunker wall light. That's the one we just saw. Which, by the way, can we get this thing facing the proper direction? Oh, it is facing. It's facing something. <clears throat> Generic lamp. That sounds familiar. Yo, that's the one. Also facing the wrong direction. Man, I had... No regard. 
no regard for orientation. There we go. Okay. We haven't used that lamp in too many places, so that shouldn't cause too many issues. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that works. Okay, so. From what we have here. What I'm thinking is we need to indicate that this this particular room isn't the same as the other bunker rooms. So what I'm thinking is uh, having some sort of like a conduit on the wall that has, what, like an antenna? Maybe it will be uh, an array of these things. Right, and you'll find the entire the entire thing to be covered in them. All of the walls. Because you'll look different enough. I'm thinking maybe also an alternative to that would be some sort of cables. That could look a lot better, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Now, on that front, we have bunker wires that Antoine has made. We have dorm, war uh, dorm wires that I made that are also incorrectly oriented all my booster shots <laughs> well emergency light what is it ceiling cable Jesus Christ this thing is huge You know, this could actually be used like that. So for the, the go to the playground, see the search for a want. Uh, yes, that is a good idea. Oh, well, there's the giant tuna can. That's onto one with the shenanigans. Um, what do we got over here? We got exterior props. We have this. The engineer's dorm. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, nice rebar. Courtesy of... I think these are Dimitar's rebars. Dimitar's rebars on the house. <laughs> All hail the Tuna King. May it forever be sealed or we shall be smothered in stink. See, I think the funny thing that, that Antoine could have done is if 
if he had textured my face on the inside of the tuna can. So you have to no clip into it to see it. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> that would be a funny Easter egg, though. Hide our faces in the cans. <sighs> okay. Nothing here. Antoine, you gotta add your, um, your recently made props to uh, Sandbox. The ceiling wires. Okay. So, a triangle or a triangular arrangement of uh, antennas might be a nice addition here. And then maybe some sort of a, I don't know, whoops. Some sort of like a tall wire conduit boxes. And then we have the wall conduits already in place, but they're really big. We can design the antenna and the conduit box uh, boxes separately. Hmm. Maybe also a variety of different antennas might be nice. Like this. So it's deliberately like, looks like it's being put together out of whatever they could find. Whatever antennas they mustered up. Yeah, I think that could work. This kind of communicates that this is a very electrically sealed door or location. Okay, so I don't need this. Okay, now we're going to convert to mesh. We're going to select this and then scale it on the x axis. There we go.
2k. Come on. Here we go. That makes for a nice looking antenna. Okay. Now, how big is this thing? That's that's a good question. Let's uh, export this as a separate object. This shouldn't really be in bunker kit. Okay, there we go. Save it. Assets, models, not locations. This would be... This would be what? The prop. Safe room. Is that the right way to spell it? And N. Okay. So, export engine. Models, props, this would be safe room. Hey, that is just the perfect size. Fantastic. Okay, maybe we'll have enough room to add uh, wires behind it.
something like this. Okay, so that's one antenna. We can duplicate it. And then this one, well, originally this is supposed to be a, a triangular mount. Okay, we also have to be careful not to make a swastika here. That's not going to be a fun, a fun Easter egg. Okay, so that's another arrangement. Okay, location, where to export, objects, props, safe room. No safe room. Objects to scenes, and there we go. Oh man, would be nice if they made the uh, objects snap to the normals of the face you're dragging them to. I've seen some uh, plugins that technically do that, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a plugin that does it, not not good at. Okay, collection. Okay, this is the third one. I'm just going to do a single one.
All right. And there we go. Make this scene for the third one. Okay, so that's good. Um, cool. We got dorm wall wires. Which isn't really only dorm related. Yeah, this should be able to overlap. It's not a big deal. The only thing is the orientation. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. All right. Not bad. That's looking pretty... Pretty dash interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Technically, this is a 90 degree pipe to go around the corners. Oh, yeah, there it is. Going through the inside. That's fine. Because this looks cool. Cool. This one is just like Legos. Just uh, take the interesting pieces and slap them all together.
hey, it wouldn't be much of a safe room if uh, if it's got a giant gaping hole on the other side. Let's uh, let's patch that up. Oh boy. That's some that's some broken lighting over here. I tried to bully in um a an interesting shape out of that wall. Didn't turn out too well. It would look great in Blender. Not so much in here. This isn't really that much of a deformed wall. I'm not sure why I called it deformed. Hmm. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice looking stand up citizen type of wall. Nice. Okay. All right, so you enter here. The first thing you see is this opening here. Probably some benches and stuff over here. 
and then there we go. We got a window. Perfect. Okay, now there are supposed to be some gameplay mechanics that are involved with these things. Um, this is supposed to be technically a safe room that offers... Well, it's like the safe room in Resident Evil. You know, no matter what is running after you, chasing your ass, you can always duck into one of these and uh, take a take a break. You're supposed to be able to uh, craft some stuff here, resolve your outstanding tasks, and um, behind a locked cabinet, there's supposed to be some components or like a really really good tool um, like one of the tools we figured we can add is a photo camera like an old school photo camera with a bright ass flash and that's gonna replace your flashbang the makeshift flashbang so it has more uses it's more powerful has a chance of disintegrating an enemy right away um, but it is locked behind a terminal um, or it's locked behind in the cabinet behind like five locks and you have to find five diskettes around the game in order to uh, unlock the five locks and get the thing but once you have the five diskettes you can then get um, let's say there's multiple of these safe rooms around and they all have the same terminal and a safety box locked behind five locks uh, but they will have different, like, premium-grade items, so to speak. Um, like a really good machete, or a, a flashbang, or some other tool, right? So, if the player does find the five discounts, they can get the tool, and that's going to give them a powerful deterrent from the unholy things, so to speak. Okay, so, I think that should be fine for the time being. It's been a good two hours. I'm going to take a break. We'll come back and see what we can do next. But you know, at this point, it's starting to get closer and closer to the point where this is basically just Legos. Take the pieces you've already made, built out an interesting room or environment or zone with them. It's pretty cool. I think this is the process we can take to Atomicon after this. All right, cool. That's it. See you, fellas. Appreciate the company.